It's raining outside. I am Will Mack and this is Wilderness Calling. I am here with my brand new Pescador Pilot 12. As it is right now, it is original straight out of the wrapping. I did an unboxing video. I have lots of upgrades and customizations that I'm going to add and do to this kayak. The first of which being the rudder system. There are four modifications that I'm going to make to my rudder system to make it function uh, quite a bit better. First thing is these steering cables. These are nylon cables that aren't really rigid enough. And so what happens is there's a whole lot of play in the steering knob. So what I intend to do is replace these original cables with steel coated cables. And that should take a lot of that play out of it and make the steering quite a bit smoother. The second problem that I need to address is the deployment of the rudder. And what I have to do is pull the cable so that the rudder deploys. Now, I'm actually exerting quite a bit of force to deploy the rudder and then quite a bit more to pull the rudder back up. As a matter of fact, you can see as I pull on the cable, I actually pull the entire kayak before the rudder comes back up. The final issue with the rudder is that when you bring it back up, it absolutely slams into the hull of the kayak. But that's a real easy fix. I'm just going to glue uh, a piece of foam so that rudder has something to come down against. Let's go ahead and take care of those four modifications right now. This is the coated steel cable that I was talking about. I got this off Amazon. I believe it was 15 or 16 bucks. Here's the label for it. 49 strand stainless steel cable coated 400 pound test. That should be enough. Uh, 1.44 millimeters. The steering pins are held in place by this little ring. I've already taken this out from the other side. So once that, once that, once that is out, you pop out that little post, take off the washers. Once the posts are free, there is this little lock nut in there. You'll need a pretty small Allen wrench. You have to untie this knot here at the top too. Once that happens, the cable should be free to pull all the way out of the kayak. Take off the steering knob. It'll give me access to the original cable underneath here. I will pull out the original cable and then put in the, uh, the brand new cable. The cable runs through the pulley, so you do have to loosen that lock nut as well. All you gotta do is feed the new cable through that same eye that you pulled the old cable out of. I've got that first side of the cable secured, estimating how much I'll need. We'll go probably another at least 18 inches, maybe 24. That should give me plenty of excess cable. After you clip it, go through the pulley system in the right direction. So make sure you kind of pay attention to how you took it out and take the clipped end and put it through the opposite hole. Now I've got the pulley on the cable. Both cable ends are running through the kayak and up through the rudder system. At this point, the steering cables are installed back on the rudder, but these lock nuts on both sides are loose. So I can tighten up the lock nut on the pulley and set it in the neutral position. All right, I've got the steering knob replaced, reinstalled, and now all it's time to do is tighten up my steering cables. Immediately see a difference between the stock cables and these steel coated cables. That did not take me very long. It was easy to do and already without even putting this kayak on the water, I could tell you it was worth it. To the next issue. I demonstrated earlier how hard it is to actually operate the rudder. First thing I'm gonna do is replace this Phillips head screw in there with a through bolt because I do believe that Phillips head is causing a lot of unnecessary tension against the rudder itself. I'm gonna use a quarter inch bolt, and that means a quarter inch hole. And I'm gonna go right through that original screw hole. I do have a nylon lock nut, and that's what's gonna allow me to tighten this bolt in there. 
yet another improvement that I made relatively quickly that I think is going to increase the performance of this rudder system quite a bit. I've got another idea to make this rudder system quite a bit more functional. You saw me operating the rudder before with the cables that it comes with that are installed on the side of the kayak. The force is gonna be applied sideways, which I think is not quite as efficient as it is if the cables came straight off the rudder. You can see how much easier it is to engage and disengage the rudder. So, I got a little bit of a harebrained idea that I'm going to move the rudder deployment system from the side. I'm going to put them underneath which is going to give me a di more direct line of force against that rudder. I had a lot of that coated steel cable left. So another thing that I've just done is replaced the original nylon cable with this new steel coated cable. Now there is kind of a special knot that you have to figure out, but honestly, it's not that tough once you do. This steel coated cable makes a big difference. Once again, takes a lot of the play out of that pulley system. Drill two really tiny holes in the hole, very similar to the steering cables. Run it underneath the rear storage and then come out somewhere under the seat and have a handle attached to each one of the cables. Here are the two holes that I drilled right in front of the rudder. These are 1 16th ounce drill bits, so very small holes. You can even see there's very little room for water to get in there, if any. But it is perfect diameter for those cables. I'm not going to drill into where water might collect under the seat. I'm actually going to drill into the hole right here and then at an angle as well. There is my hole going in at a little bit of an angle. It's time to uh, thread a cable through there. I used the steering cable that I replaced earlier to go through that new hole. Reach down in there and now I have my kayak threaded. I've used masking tape to attach the two cables. After threading both cables through, here's what it looks like. I don't want them all willy-nilly under my seat, so I'm going to add a pad eye. They're so handy for multiple kayak uses. I'm going to use this pad eye to secure my cables right in the middle of the kayak. Here's what I came up with for my handles. These are two and three quarter inch, half inch PVC pipe with two end caps. One, uh, the bottom half I have secured with PVC cement so that it won't come loose. And then to anchor the cable, I just used a really small half inch bolt with a lock washer. And that's gonna secure it inside my handle. And then I will secure the top cap with just a couple taps of a rubber mallet. I am pretty proud of this solution I found right here. The rudder is much easier to control and much more convenient too. Instead of having to reach over the side and pull with one hand, I can actually control it a little bit more. This little modification right here, I've made the rudder easier to use and freed up space on the side of my kayak for my Anchor Wizard. This last mod is probably the easiest one. I am going to apply just a, a little bit of foam right here to this notch in the hole where the rudder comes down. And that's just so there's not a huge bang when the rudder lands against the hole. I've got some Gorilla Epoxy Clear that I am applying to this notch in the hole. I did use some sandpaper just to scuff up the hole a little bit because that means the epoxy will bond a little bit better. I place my foam directly in that notch. Now it's got to sit here for 24 hours, so what I'm going to do is flip the rudder over onto the foam just evenly like so. I think I've got a brick, or as a matter of fact, it's right there. I'm going to put this brick right on the back of the rudder to hold it down overnight. My foam piece did set overnight, no doubt that that's gonna work. And you can see 
that is quite a bit more quiet than the rudder coming down and banging against the hull. I'm so happy with these four mods. They are going to make a world of difference. There are a lot more mods to come, so stay tuned. I hope you got something out of this video, so smash like. And until next time, mod your kayak a little bit, and then brrrr, bah! Chuck and wine, baby. <laughs> Peace.